Hi, today we're going to do some exercise, we're going to work our upper body and our tummy as well. So if anything hurts, do not do it. Pick up a weight that's appropriate for you. And if you need to grab a drink at any time, please feel free just to dip out and grab a drink. So the first exercise that we're going to do is called a figure eight. And literally, that's what we're doing with the weight is making a figure eight. So this is quite a nice one, just to loosen everything off to start. So if you want to make it harder, you lengthen the arms. A little bit easier, you're keeping it close to the body. Just drawing the figure eight with the weight. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is the wood chopper. Now you need to be careful with this one. So when you go down, we start low, is to turn that foot in, slightly turn the other knee. Okay, so we're going low and then taking the weight high. So it's like you're throwing something away and just as it's about to leave your hands, you stop it. So this is really good. It's a CV exercise, which means it's going to get you out of breath because you're taking it overhead. And it's also get into your sides. So down, push up. Just stop the weight at the top. And then we're just going to go to the other side. So you start low, push up. Low, push up. So really work in the sides. We call it the wood chopper. There's a few variations, but we're just doing this one today. Just one more. Okay, now we're going to go down onto the ground. And it's really important when we go down, we think about our back and that we keep it as low to the floor as we can. Because what you don't want is to be arching the back. So down you go. Think about your tummy, pull it in. Bring your knees so they're just in line with your hips. Then with the weight, straight arms, you're going to take it over the head, bring the knee back, and then take it over on the other side. Nice and controlled. Now if you find this is a little bit difficult, just drop the foot down to the floor. But if you're feeling really confident, you can extend the feet. Keeping that tummy pulled in and keeping the back close to the floor. Just one more. Okay, we can. Now we're going to need both our weights. Feet underneath your hips, okay? So what you don't want is to move the feet. So we're just bringing the arms in 90-90 and we're just going to twist from side to side. So the bicep is an isometric hold. So just as the weights go there, stop it, pull it back, use your waist. Hold it there. Okay, next thing that we're going to do, now you can keep your feet flat on the floor or you can bring your leg up. Good tip is when you're balancing, so if you pick a spot, keep looking at it and it helps you keep your balance. Okay, so this is a hammer curl with an overhead press. So I'm going to bring my knee up, I'm going to curl, press. So the palms face the body to start, curl, press. So by bringing the leg up, you really engage your core, your tummy, work a little bit harder. Okay, 
and just one more and then we're going to change sides okay so you choose your level you can keep your foot down flat or bring your leg up hammer curl to a press nice and controlled Just two more. Last one. Okay, the last exercise we're gonna do will be overhead bends. So again, feet underneath the hips. Now what we don't wanna be doing is letting the weight pull us to a side bend. So tummy pulled in, just there, center at the side. Okay, so the slower that you do it, the more control that you have. Just one more either side. Okay, well done. 